before I finish for the night, I'm going to show you how I'm making welding cables. Um, I'm making several sets. Specifically, I've got cable going from the alternator to a 125 amp busman fuse block and a battery cable ground going from the alternator chassis to the battery ground. They say that really helps you know, have a healthy uh, charging system and then a little jumper from the busman ground to the battery. Let me show that. Sorry, the busman fuse. It's the busman fuse that goes to the battery. And this one I was holding up is the starter motor. That'll go to the positive, obviously. Uh, my, and what I need to do now is the chassis ground. So I'm gonna go from here, sorry, the battery ground from here down to this engine block. Cable I'm using is EWCS welding cable, basically, but it's got um, 600 volts, you know, it handles high temperature, made in the USA. I think I got it on Amazon. And um, what I really like about it is it's oil resistant. So not all welding cable is oil resistant. This one is. Uh, and this is advertised on Amazon as four gauge, but if you read the uh, comments, everyone's like, it's actually six gauge. So what I did was I just listened to the comments and instead of buying, and, and, and six gauge is, is plenty. So for me, I'm not running crazy, crazy stuff. So what I did was I bought six gauge cable lugs. You saw I stripped about an inch, inch and a quarter off the end of that. I have this, um, it looks too big, but it's four to one reducing shrink tubing. Pop that over. Take some flux, rub it in there, twist it. You gotta twist it. You take a cable lug, put it over. Then I take this Klein crimping tool, which is the best. And then you, I put a little crimp in the back. This only works for this gauge. If you go any bigger, this Klein tool won't, won't re reach it. Now it's crimped, it's on there solid. Put on my vise. Torch. Spark. And I basically just heat it up until I see the flux start bubbling, I know it's time. When it, when it basically drops off, I know it's, uh, it's full, it drips on the ground. Pretty simple. Take it off the vise, give it a blow. I take the shrink wrap right up to the end of it, grab my heat gun. There you have it, custom cable. Pretty simple, or it's something you guys can do. See you next time on Matt's Garage.